Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Titus and you're here at Mid Valley Mercenaries and I wanna go over my review of the Strong Fleece 290 Waterfowl Zip. Before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that all the Kuyu Waterfowl gear that I am going over that I wore all of last duck season and will be wearing from here on out will be in a playlist. So if you don't wanna to try to search out every piece that I reviewed that I have personally worn and will continue to wear and that I love, you can go in our playlist. It will have all the videos of the waders, the zips, the fleeces, everything that Kuyu has to offer for the waterfowl system. So again, I've said many times on these last other review videos that I'm kind of comparing this stuff to Sitka so you have a borderline of your thought process. And I'll give temperatures and weather to help decide like what's this good for and what use can I get out of it on what temperatures and what kind of weather. I love this thing. This is probably, I would say, once it hits 50 degrees, 55 degrees, whether it's early in the morning or if it's a high that day, that's, this is what I'm wearing. I'm basically wearing the 145 zip tee, Kuyu zip tee, and then I'm wearing this on top, and that's it. Like, and this will take me down to like, I mean, me personally, I'm a little bit hot natured, but this will take me down to probably, I would say like 35 degrees, somewhere in there, 32 to 35 degrees, maybe high 30s. That's all I'll be wearing because by the time you put the base layer of the 145 zip tee and then you put this on top and then you're wearing your waders. And of course, I'm, I'm doing this based off of hunting in water. I mean, if you're wearing something else on the bottom, that's kind of different, but put those waders on, which covers, you know, basically comes up to your chest. That's kind of another layer and that is what I, I wear. That being said, if you're gonna hike a ways to the spot that you're gonna hunt, I suggest, and this is again, just lessons learned and experience over time of hunting, is if you're gonna do a long hike, I would not wear this on that hike. You are gonna get very, very warm, and you're gonna sweat, and then when you sweat, you know how it is, then you shed clothes, then you get cold and chilled, and then you're putting it back on, and it's just not the same. So I start out on a long hike, I take off a lot of my layers, and when I get to the spot, get settled down, get my heart rate under control and my breathing and like my body temperature starts to cool down, that's when I throw this stuff back on. So on this one, it is a full zip, which I actually really like because you don't have to slip it over your head, take your hat off, your stuff off. You can literally just, it's like a jacket basically. Velo is my favorite pattern. That's what I, I like. I like ash and velo. Ash is, is like this, this greenish type color in here. To me, it's really hard to beat this pattern. It just blends in so many environments. I said it on some of the other videos. I was shocked of how green of an environment can be to how tan and brown, and it blends in with every single environment. It's, it's, it's kind of a trippy, actually. So you got your collar, you got your full zip. At the bottom, you can cinch it if you want. It's got uh, two cinch spots on either side, basically, of your waist. That You can tighten this up if you want. I leave it pretty much loose. I like it like that. I don't, I don't like stuff kind of bunched up at the bottom, but if that's what you want to do, you can. It's also got a... Uh, front chest pocket and that's also like this really nice material I don't I, I want to say it's kind of like a type of fleece but I really like that it's kind of vented in there to breathe help breathe but like I'll put my phone or whatever inside there or hunt license something like that something smaller as a 215 pound 510 I wear an extra large in this and it's perfect it's not too tight it's not baggy I don't really like my stuff baggy and I definitely don't like it like it fitted but it fits really good. It's got the regular cuffs on here. Very comfortable, not too tight, but also not baggy where it's slipping off the back of your hand. It's got two side pockets that are also fleece lined, very nice. And they're actually really, really, really deep. So you got one on either side, on the outside. Then on the inside, you can see it's that fleece. And that's pretty much it for this video. Not a ton to go over, but it's a great piece. It's, it's surprisingly very warm and very comfortable. And again, with all Kuyu stuff, it's moisture wicking. Yes, when your body temperature does start going up, it just, it wicks it away from your body. And that's what I love about these products and these, these products that have grown over the years compared to what I used to use when I was a little kid, right? Like just the waders and this, the camo that you wore and the jackets, it's supposed to be waterproof and they leak like a sieve. It's like, these products now are so high end. It, for me, and why I like them and think they're worth the money is you can hunt longer, harder, stay cooler, stay drier, stay warmer. So I mean, cooler when it's hot and warmer when it's cold. Like 
what product does that that we used to have 15, 20 years ago? There's nothing like that. The stuff they have on the market now at Kuyu is, is to me amazing and <clears throat> impressive. Just bottom line, honestly, it's just impressive and I, I like it. I had nothing but good experiences with it. Used it a whole duck season and, and extreme environments on both sides of the spectrum. And I'm super happy with it. I like it. And just wanted to share this review video with you guys on my thoughts, my opinions on this product. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.